All right, New Mexico, it's time for the High School Review, sponsored by ProView Sports. This is our main man, Adam Deal. Adam, take it away. Thanks, Khalil. Uh, baseball, softball, halfway over already. As we go into district play starting now, uh, state championships in less than a month from now. Can you believe that? Well, one of the best tournaments in the state, it's the Sal Puentes Memorial. Best field, 5A, 6A teams, all combined. Eight of them go at it. So let's get to the highlights immediately. Here's your high school review brought to you by Kobe. Check it out. It's the La Cueva Bears taking on the Cleveland Sword. Jonathan Stroman's going to bring in Phillips for a run. And it's the Bears on top. The Bears actually beat Carlsbad in the first round. Cleveland gets by Goddard. So we've got something here. Wild Pitch is going to bring one in for Cleveland. So uh, let's tie it all up. What a piece early as the Storm trying to get going. The Storm actually playing with one of their better players, playing without one of their better players, excuse me, Preston Shallow. Here's the wild pitch that gets through. So Cleveland's on top, two to one. We're in the bottom of the third. Uh, let's get things going. Phillips, a little chipper, is going to score Trujillo and tie it up two apiece. Two out in the bottom of the third. Not done was Trujillo. And Trujillo on the wild throw. Going to bring in Pineda. Pineda scores. And all of a sudden, it's La Cueva rolling here. Look at this. Pineda on the run up. Got him with bases loaded. Cleveland can't take advantage. Romero with bases loaded. He's going to put it deep out into right field. A mistake in the outfield is going to score three. All of a sudden, it's five to two. Uh, just for good measure, La Cueva going to add another one. A little flip. The six, four, three, double play. Caught him. And so the La Cueva Bears rolling Trujillo for good measure. Give me one more, he says. Ground rule double going to score to a huge fifth inning for the Bears. Makes it 11 to 2, so the Bears advance to the championship game. Cleveland went on to go and play in the third place game. Uh, so who was La Cueva going to play? Believe it or not, it was Clovis and Artesia taking on each other in the semifinals. Artesia with the upset over Real Rancho in the quarters. So let's get to it. Semifinal number two. And this is into the outfield. Diving for it is Jay Peppercorn. Yes, what a play. Two to one, Clovis leads it. Bottom of the first. And this chipped out to left field, coming around to score. Greenwald. And it's three to one, Clovis on top. How about the Wildcats? Who would have thought this? Wildcats beat Santa Fe in the first round. I mentioned Artesia with the win. Oh, look at this, a toss over to Montoya. Got the tag, yes, out. And so Clovis trying to add some runs. Greenwald with the play, diving over to first. Montoya again, the grab. Got him, still three one, bottom of the fourth. And that's Freeman. So 3-1, top of the fifth now. And again, look at Montoya, easy play. Uh, Artesia down to the last couple of outs. Langrill gonna blast one into left field. Come around, all the way to third. Oh, you got Greedy, out. So Clovis can't add one last chance for Artesia. Trailing it three to two, and Langrill, oh, give me that rock a snag over at third base. Hey, you want to see it again? Langrill makes another play in the top of the six. Give me that to Montoya. Bam! Clovis is into the championship game. They defeat Artesia. Final is three to two. Very good baseball game. So Clovis makes their way to the final, and they're going to play LaCueva. A lot of people counting LaCueva out early because they're young and inexperienced, but a very tough field, a very tough tournament. And uh, La Cueva with two monster wins. So let's take a look at this championship matchup. And get that music rolling. Get everything rolling. Phillips with a two-run RBI. Double makes it 2 nothing early. La Cueva on top. Bottom of the third. Um, let's add some more. Ground rule double deep left field. It'll score another one after it being 4-0. Makes it 5-1 by Johnson. And so you think, okay, La Cueva's got this bad boy in the fifth. They are rolling. Now it's at 5-1. Kurt Kelly RBI single up the middle. That'll score a run. And it's 5-2. Daniel Gallegos, rather, with the RBI. And then Kirk Kelly steps up, and Kirk Kelly will score two runs and a little chip to the outside. Coming across the plate is Gallegos, 
and all of a sudden we've got ourselves a game in the top of the six. What happened to the lead? 7-5 on top. It's Clovis. Trujillo with an RBI single is going to score Strowman, and it makes it 7-6. Come around, big fella, the junior having a fantastic season already pitching and hitting. There he is scoring right there. So 7-6, need another one. Atkins, that's a single out to right. That's going to tie it on the bloop. So all sevens as we go into the seventh inning and Clovis, check this out, bases loaded, pop up, the wind gusting at 45 miles an hour, it's gonna drop. Scores one, ground rule out, but it still scores one as Montoya comes across the plate. Last chance for La Cueva, two on, two out, and Atkins chips it up, easy play. Celebrate it, Wildcats. Clovis goes into Real Rancho, wins three straight, and now Clovis has entered on the map uh, in the state of New Mexico as they hoist that trophy you see. So congratulations to the Clovis Wildcats. It's, it's been a fantastic start to the season. Uh, so let's see, you're gonna see a lot more of those plays right now. Let's go to the Dave and Buster top 10 plays of the week. At number 10, Clovis, La Cueva, that finals look at the runner and the grab over at first, got him. This was the Artesia Clovis game in the semifinals in the throwdown. Freeman over at first, Montoya. Montoya had the glove, the first baseman. Here in that finals, that's an unassisted double play. In the top of the six. I mean, that's huge. See, that was Cleveland and La Cueva. Check it out. Langrill, give me that rock on the grounder. All the way to Montoya. Got him on the bounce. Big time plays by Langrill. At number six. Hey, let's go a little gladiator football for you for fun. Jenniser is going to toss it in the air. That's complete for a touchdown. 50 yarder. Uh, not done with the gladiators. A toss over the middle. How about Brian Randall? Five touchdown tosses, ran for two. Gladiators look sharp. At number four, Strowman takes one high. Look at the throwdown. Freeman to second. Got him stealing. Out. Number three. I, I told you you see Lynn Grill again. The snag at third. Two big time plays. Both of them in the sixth inning, by the way, for Clovis. Here's Trujillo going to blast one to right and coming on. Oh, that's big time. That was in the bottom of the seventh, by the way. Uh, how about your boy Dello Davis to start the game? Dello Davis says, hello, 50-yarder. Gladiators go on to roll. So uh, Gladiators look sharp, but congratulations again to Clovis, the Wildcats. They're looking the best right now. Uh, I'm telling you, that South Puentes Memorial Field is one of the toughest, not only just 6A, but 5A teams as well with Goddard and Artesia. Uh, let's get now to the player of the week, the Dave and Buster player of the week. That is La Cueva's very own Jonathan Stroman. Uh, another lights out game, no, actually it lights out tournament. Uh, he was all tournament team. He had five RBIs in the tournament, uh, pitched a great game against Carlsbad and a five to one win in the opener, which gave Carlsbad their first loss. So congratulations to Jonathan Stroman. He is the Dave and Buster Player of the week. Uh, top 10 poll now, things shifting a little bit. We'll start with baseball. Uh, you see La Cueva playing a little bit better, but Volcano Vista is still up there. Congratulations to Atrisco, by the way, entering the top 10 as Volcano Vista lost to Atrisco Heritage. Hobbs is undefeated. They're up there. They haven't beaten a lot of teams that we can compare them to. Sandia is playing really good, 9 and 2 with only two losses. Hello, Clovis. Welcome into the top five. Real Rancho, El Dorado, La Cueva, Cleveland. Real grand that rounds out the top 10. To softball, La Cueva with another monster win against Volcano Vista. It's their second one this season, so they are ahead of them. Hobbs undefeated on the girls' side, so looking good as well. Cleveland and Real Rancho are going to play in the championship of their tournament. It got postponed because of wind on Saturday. That's where they stand. Uh, Real Rancho before the tournament started with a win over Sandia. Hey folks, we want to remind you, cheer and dance. It's this weekend. We've got it for you. Streamed live on the NFHS network. Don't forget all day Friday, all day Saturday. Well, that'll do it for the high school review. Let's throw it back to the crew. Khalil? 
Thanks, Adam. That was the High School Review, sponsored by ProView Sports. More from the national scene coming up after this.